friends today what we are going to do is we are going to um, draw a waterfall landscape in the style of jeh mcdonald okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need paper we need watercolor we need crayons um we also need a pencil and because it's watercolor we need some water i also have my whiteboard to practice draw first um you can use a scrap paper if that is what you have at home okay so let's we are not using the entire paper we are using half a paper so if you have half a paper from last week you can use that or you can take the paper fold it like a book make a nice crease when the sides match make a nice crease and cut in the middle okay so that's how you get half a paper i'm going to cut this because i don't have half a paper right now and now mm, let's talk a little bit about the artist okay so jh mcdonald let me write his name down j e h this is a continuous this thing okay mac donald <laughs> so his name uh full name is james edward hervey mcdonald okay he uh, was born in england and then he moved to canada when he was very young so in canada um at a very young age like when he was 14 he started um uh, to study art and then when he grew up he became a commercial designer you know what a designer is right eventually um like he left his job and he uh started doing a landscape art like he became a landscape painter he um was one of the founding members of group of seven a uh, group of seven is a group of artists that created artwork based on the canadian landscape okay so um he's uh, one of the first major uh canadian um, artist major artist in the canadian movement called group of seven okay so uh, i put a picture of the art that we are imitating it is called algoma waterfall that he painted in 1920 it's called Algoma waterfall. Okay, that is what we are imitating today. So, this is the name of the art. Now, um, when we are drawing this, usually when we draw a landscape, we place the paper in the landscape style. But this is a waterfall that we are drawing, so we need to show um, waterfalls are not it's not a river that we are drawing it's a waterfall so we need a more depth so we are going to place the paper in the portrait style okay now first thing that we are going to do is we are going to um draw a horizon line okay so the horizon line this time we are going to put it like somewhere on the top of the paper somewhere here Okay. maybe you leave like a three finger space on top so three finger space and then i'm going to draw the horizon line okay so it will go across the paper now it doesn't have to be a, uh, a perfect straight line because you know that horizon line doesn't need to be a perfect straight line then at the bottom so we <laughs> after you are done drawing the horizon line you're going to move to the bottom of the paper there what you're going to do is you are going to draw a few bumpy lines for the trees okay so it's like bumpy lines i'm going to draw maybe another one in this corner 
maybe in between these two another bumpy line okay so on the bottom we have um the trees for the the top of the trees the bumpy lines now what we are going to do is we are going to draw a another line this also doesn't need to be a perfect straight line and so we are going to draw another curvy line under the horizon line okay then we are going to draw like maybe we'll leave like two finger space and then draw another one maybe now you will go leave three finger space and then you're going to draw another line here we are maybe here you're going to draw the final line so all together how many lines do we have one two three four five lines the last line is like in between the uh, the the top of the trees that we do can you see that yeah so now what we're going to do the reason why we uh, made these lines like in the beginning the lines in the top um, these had like very less space like one finger space then two finger space and then three finger space and more space as we bend down the reason is um, you are seeing something in the distance right so we are trying to create a illusion of depth in our art okay so next what we are going to do is we are going to draw a line for the waterfall so it's like from here I'm going to draw two lines right in the middle of the paper but this line is going to come downwards but it's going to not like the straight down but it's going to widen it as, as the line comes downwards okay so um, this line goes down like that and this one like this so far so good <laughs> okay so now let me move my water I think when I'm pushing this up and down, it's not, the water may fall, uh, tilt and fall down. Now we are going to add, uh, above the horizon line, we are going to add the uh, trees about here. So these are coniferous trees. These trees, uh, you know how to, coniferous trees are like triangular in shape, right? So I'll show you a few ways you can draw this, uh, but we are going to, cover the end tap from here to here with these type of lee uh, with these type of trees so you can either just draw zigzag lines we are just making okay so it doesn't have to be like what right i think it doesn't look right so what we'll do is one big maybe one small big big small big so that way it will look more realistic right if we make all the zigzag lines exact same the trees are not all the same size right so we have that and then um now so this is the basic shape that you need to draw so now you have an idea how to do this the rest uh, we uh, will add the details or we'll add the texture uh, with the crayons so i'm not going to add the texture lines right now on this paper not not the paper on the whiteboard so you have a basic idea how to draw this right so now let's take the paper and where's my paper so before we start working on the paper let's and say the name of the artist we are imitating his name is j e h mcdonald right so we have the paper down and the paper you're going to put it in the portrait style not the landscape right now uh, on the top of the paper you're going to leave like two finger space on top and then you are going to make a horizon line maybe i'll draw everything with the marker so you guys can see you guys can draw this with a pencil i think these lines are simple you can draw directly with a black crayon you guys are not using the sharpie 
because you don't have one right so you will take the black crayon and make those lines okay so i'm going to use the black sharpie um don't use the black marker that comes in the uh, marker box as i always tell you because we are going to paint over this with watercolor okay so uh three two finger space on top and then i'm going to draw my first horizon line this doesn't have to be a perfect straight line as we know it's a horizon line okay so and then we are going to go to the bottom of the paper we are going to draw the uh, bumpy lines for the uh, trees okay so i'm going to make the bumpy lines i'm going to draw and then in between these two i have another so three look like three trees now on the i'm going back to the top i'm leaving one finger space between the first line and the second and then i'm going to make another horizontal line okay now i'm going to leave two finger space and then i'm going to add another line okay i'm just making it a little bit more curvy it doesn't have to be like super straight right now i'm going to leave three finger space and then then the bottom over here i'm going to make another line so all together we have how many lines one two one two three four and five lines now here from the middle i'm going to make two lines like that and then remember the line is widening as it comes down okay now let's add the um zigzag like upside down v's to show the coniferous trees so i'm going to make it look like they are different size okay so that is done so now i'm going to put the marker away you guys and we are going to take the crayons now okay because we are going to add um texture to your tree so i'm going to take green first and then we are going to add lines zigzag lines on either side this crayon is not pointy it doesn't matter we're just adding texture so we have that now um, i'm going to take blue and then i'm going to make i'm going to put the paper this way i'm going to make slightly curved lines so it's not one uh, long line it's like from each there is like a section right so each section i start from there and then see okay so we have the um lines i'm going to i'm going to make these lines a little bit more dark because we are going to paint over this right so these lines need to show through now let's take black or maybe brown 
and then we are going to add the rocks make it look like it's like rocks so it's like you can add um curved sh shapes like c shape or you can um, make it like l shape or things like that This is more like an L. <laughs> so in both the directions, I'm going in this direction and that direction. Maybe I'll use the black now. Okay, a little bit more brown. Now I'm going to um, add like bumpy uh, on the bottom. Okay, we're going to add leafy texture. So this is a, like a fall. These trees are not coniferous trees. These change color in fall, right? So we are going to take yellow, orange, whatever color you want or red. And then we are going to add texture same way it's like a upside down you let me know this is an orange tree now some yellow trees So press hard because we are using crayons and for the crayons to show well, it's better you use, uh, you press it down really well, okay? So we have the autumn colors. Our tree look nice. Now, maybe this tree, maybe I'm going to add some light green on top. going to add some white also in between this water okay now what else can we do I think we are ready to start painting so I'm going to put the this away, take my watercolor. So first thing that we're going to do is we are going to paint the moving water. Okay, so let's take some blue for that. Water is, we use blue, right? So I'm going to add a few drops of water in my blue palette and then I'm a, now I'm going to wake my blue I'm going to swirl okay so I think I have enough paint more than enough so to make it look like um, the water is flowing what we are going to do is we are going to paint each section of the water uh, waterfall individually okay we'll start from the bottom of one section and paint a light blue <coughs> okay so and then we will 
paint in upward strokes from the bottom of the section towards the top okay so each section you will uh, do it that way so from here there's a lot of paint on my brush maybe i'll put some paint here <laughs> so maybe i'm going to do it this way there is a lot of paint okay I'm going to now dip it in the water and paint upwards. Dip in the water. I'm not adding any more water. Just uh, dipping in the water. Okay, so that way it will look lighter towards the top. Now here, I need to take some more paint. I'm going to paint upwards. Can you guys see that? I don't think so. So I'm painting a little bit upwards like this. The bottom should be darker. And then once I have that, I'm just dipping in the water and then filling the rest. Maybe a little bit darker on the bottom. I'm just adding a little bit more. I'm just dipping in the blue, not in water anymore. The bottom part, I'm making it darker. Okay, now this one. Yeah, that little space in between that so the water is done painting now what we'll do is we'll paint the sky so I'm just taking water in my brush I'm not adding any more paint water I want a very light sky there is enough blue in my brush in case you don't have much blue left you can Take a slight dip in the paint. I'm not doing that because my brush had enough blue. Okay, so that is done. Now we are going to paint the um, the trees, this tree. Okay, I'm going to add a drop of water in green. I didn't wash my brush because you make green by mixing blue and yellow. So that's okay. And my brush, I didn't take much paint um the last few steps so my brush was pretty clean i'm making the shape first and then filling it in okay shape of the mountain see that you're holding your brush the right way you're holding it right above the metal part and you're holding it like a um your like your pencil okay so once dipping in my paint i'm not dipping in the water i'm just dipping in the paint because if this is also more diluted it can spread to the sky so okay so we are done with the the trees this the conqueror's trees now what we need to do is we are going to paint the um the on the uh, the side right so this we are going to take brown so again brown i'm going to wash my brush maybe so i'm just moving my sweeping the floor of my container i'm then going to add a bit of water in brown swirl in brown 
and then we are going to paint it. So each time your brush is dry, you take a dip in the water and then you will go get more paint from the palette. So see, dip in water, get more paint. Because it's a watercolor, you need water to paint this. Water, paint. As um, you are coming closer, uh, you can make it light brown, okay? So, so what I'm going to do is, I'll just dip it in water. Maybe more of water and less of paint. That's the idea as we come closer to the So the second time, first time I took the paint, the second time I just dipped in water and finished it off. So watch, first time dip in paint and when this becomes dry, dip it in water and finish that off. Dip in water, now a little bit of paint, just water, spread it out. Okay. okay, maybe what we'll do is we'll just take a little, this is almost dry here, so I'm taking a little bit more brown and then putting on the top part. Okay, only if it is dry, if it is uh, still, you're still waiting to dry, then Wait it to dry a little bit so that the paper doesn't rip. Now just water and then the remaining part. Okay, so it's like you get the depth that way. Now let's color the, the bottom, the trees. So here I'm going to, so if uh, by now, if your color is, the water is pretty uh, dirty, you just take, throw this away and get some uh, fresh water. Okay, mine, I think I can work with this. I'm going to add a few drops of water in yellow, few drops in orange and some in red. Maybe some in green. Oh, green already we have, right? So I'm now swirling this in yellow first. I'm just going to color this one. This one is yellow. On top of yellow, I'm, <laughs> yellow crayon, I'm putting some yellow. I'm going to go take a little bit of green now and then finish up the rest of my Oh, you guys didn't see anything. So what I did was I painted a little bit here with yellow and the rest I'm going to paint with green so that our texture lines that we made will be visible. So this is going to be like a mix of yellow and green tree. Now I'm going to wash my brush and then I'm going to put the um, orange here I'm going to color with red and this one I'm going to color with orange so because uh, your crayon lines will show well if it's a different color so this one if I use red it's not going to show that well so I'm going to use orange here if you want to use um, two colors see what i did i took a little bit of red and then went over this to make it look like this one 
the rest I'm going to put just orange so it's like a mix of this tree is a mix of red and orange here this tree completely I'm going to make it a red tree so this part you need to be careful because it's a smaller area so hold your pencil uh, brush like a pencil make your brush stand on the tippy toes and then you are going to make the lines the, the outlines or the fans and then paint inside the fence don't go outside if your brush is getting super dry go get some water and then finish up the painting see that so that is how a um, painting should look after you guys are done and maybe here and here to make it look a little bit lighter what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of orange here will it look lighter if I put orange on top yeah lightly on top of the brown very lightly it should not look like orange um, the ground should not look orangish completely so if it is too orangey just add water to it okay I think it's better now right so the things that are closer to you are lighter and things that are further away it is um, darker right so we have the uh, what was the name of the landscape uh, that we were drawing what is it called Algoma waterfall so we have the waterfall done and um, I want you guys to take a picture of your waterfall and uh, email me in the email address that I'm putting at the end of the video. So the name of the artist is J E H McDonald. Okay, remember that. And okay, one more thing: don't close your uh, watercolor right now because it's going to be moldy. Wash your brush, like you sweep the floor of the container, and then if there is excess water, wipe, and then put it. On the side wait for this to dry the rest of the supplies you can put it away and uh, you can uh, wait for this to dry take a picture or uh, write your name grade um, room number and the name of your school and email it to me okay I would like to see how um, your yeah, the waterfall looks okay so till we meet next week Bye-bye.